Billy was being kept as a pet, person that owned him, volunteered to give him up. He was getting very sick. He was pretty immobile. I'm really sorry. Okay, okay. I'm sorry, okay. He was in a pretty sorry state when we got him. I don't know how much longer he would have lasted. Swollen, unable to move, really suffering from severe malnutrition. They are specialist veterinary team, they got him straight onto a nutritional regime so that he could start his journey to recovery. You know, a few weeks later, when they start the physiotherapy, he's got the strength to hold on to their fingers and start with the classic baby walking. He spent quite a bit of time in the quarantine intensive care clinic area and during that time we were just building up his strength. It took about four months to go to baby school. Baby school is really just about first interaction with the other smaller orangutans. It's about starting to climb starting to eat proper food. They're developing all the time and then they kind of move on, graduate to uh, forest school. And that's where it's really about starting to become a proper orangutan. It's about building their confidence, spending less time on the ground. And then gradually as they're sort of getting bigger and stronger, they're getting to the stage where you want them to spend the, the nights in the forest. Woody, as he developed, considering how dependent he was at the beginning, he became independent remarkably early in, in the process. He was quite happy to spend his nights out in the forest. Much younger than some of the other orangutans, which was great to see because obviously that kind of get on the pathway to release. We really need to be sure that they've got the very best chance of survival. About four or five years later, and he graduated. Yep. And now to finally see him back in the jungle and him back where he belongs, still lovely.